This is part 39 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a responsive bootstrap navigation menu in our ASP.NET Core application. On a large screen device, this is how the navigation menu should look. Notice on the top left hand corner, we have our company brand image and we also have the links for list and create views. In our layout view, notice we already have the bootstrap CSS file referenced. First, in launchsettings.json file, let's change our environment to development. To create a navigation menu, we use the bootstrap navbar class. So in our layout view, just above this div element where we are rendering the body, let's include nav element and then use the bootstrap navbar class. Notice we also have IntelliSense. Inside this navigation bar, we want these two navigation menu items, list and create. For that, we include an unordered list and then use the bootstrap class navbar-nav. Inside the unordered list, we create a list item and then use the bootstrap nav item class for styling. Inside the list item, let's use the anchor tag helper and create the list navigation menu item. When we click on this menu item, we want the index action of the home controller to be executed. We specify that by using asp-action and asp-controller tag helpers. To style this navigation link, we use the bootstrap nav link class. Similarly, let's create a navigation menu item for create. Let's make a copy of this and change the link text here to create. When we click on this navigation menu item, we want the create action of our home controller to be executed. Let's save our changes so far and take a look at the browser. Notice the navigation menu items are stacked on top of each other. Instead, we want them in a horizontal row. For that, on this nav element, in addition to using the navbar class, let's also use navbar expand sm. Notice now the links are in a horizontal row. We want a dark background for our navigation menu. For that, we use BG Dark CSS class. We want the text color to be white and for that, we use navbar-dark class. There we go. We have a dark background as expected. Now what we want to do is set the width of this navigation menu to be the same as the width of this container that is displaying the list of our employees. For that, I'm going to surround all of this HTML with another div. And the easiest way to do that is by selecting the HTML and then right click and select this option, wrap with div. And then move this container class onto this div element. There we go, we have the width as expected. Now we also want to display our brand image in the navigation menu. For that, let's include an anchor element right here and then use the bootstrap navbar brand class. Inside this anchor element, let's include an image element and set its source attribute to the employee's image within the images folder. We also want to limit height and width to 30. When we click on this brand image, we want the index action of our home controller to be executed. So let's copy and paste these two tag helpers on our anchor element right here. There we go. We have our brand image as expected. On a small screen device, we want our navigation menu to be like this. We want this toggle button. When we click that button, that's when we want the navigation links to appear. For that, let's surround this unordered list that contains our navigation links with a div element. And then let's use the bootstrap collapse and navbar collapse classes. Let's also include id for this div. In a bit we'll see how we're going to make use of this id value. Just above this div element, let's include a button. Set the type attribute to button. For styling, let's use navbar toggler class. And then we need to set two data dash attributes. Data dash toggle, the value for this is collapse. 
the second data dash attribute is data dash target and the value for this is the div element that we want to expand and collapse in our case it is this div element which has got this id collapsible nav bar so let's use the id selector which is hash and then the id value we want this button to display this icon with three horizontal bars to get that icon inside the button let's include a span element with class navbar toggler icon let's save these changes and take a look at the browser notice on a large screen device we have the navigation menu expanded on a small screen device we have this toggle button but when i click that notice it doesn't work that's because bootstrap depends on jquery for this functionality so first let's install jquery within our application right click on the project name add client side library search for jquery and click the install button there we go jquery is installed we need to reference it within our layout page so let's drag and drop it within the head section right here In addition to jQuery, we also need to reference Bootstrap JavaScript. You can find Bootstrap JavaScript file within the JS folder in the Bootstrap folder. So let's drag and drop it after jQuery. This order is very important. jQuery must be loaded before Bootstrap JavaScript. If you flip the order, the toggle button doesn't work. Notice now when we click the toggle button it works as expected notice for the development environment we have references to bootstrap jquery and bootstrap javascript for a non development environment we only have included the reference to bootstrap we also need to include references to jquery and bootstrap javascript i'm not going to do that now you can do it as an exercise later at the moment there is one small style issue notice as i reduce the size of the browser window at this breakpoint the buttons are attached to each other and at this breakpoint they look even worse we want margin between these buttons we know these buttons are in our index view we got the three buttons here view edit and delete on each of the anchor elements we are going to use this bootstrap class m-1 m stands for margin and the number 0 1 they stand for the size of space that we want we're going to use m-1 let's do that on all the three anchor elements notice now as we resize the browser window we got n of margin between the buttons at the moment only the list link with our navigation menu works as expected when we click on this create link we see 404 error that's because within our home controller we don't have the create action we also do not have the create view we'll create both of these in our next video on this slide we have the complete code of our navigation menu that's it in this video thank you for listening